Hey guys, what is up? Domino here. Uh, I'm going to be doing some Morrowind gameplay. This is a game that I really, really, really enjoy and that I grew up playing. Um, it was actually one of the games, it was kind of a game that I remember distinctly getting a lot of hours out of. I mean, to say that this game t stole my life uh, would be an understatement. I mean, this game was absolutely amazing at the time. The graphics just blew me away. Um, and this was vanilla Morrowind. This wasn't even, you know, this wasn't even, uh, you know, with all the mods and graphics mods. And that brings me into the second thing I want to talk about before I get started. Um, I do have uh, the total uh, total overhaul mod on 3.0, uh, Morrowind extended graphics. I, I'm, I forget what it's called, but I'll put it in the description box. Um, you can also check out my prologue video for Morrowind, and I explain where to get the mod and how to install it. it it's a multi-step process, but anyone can pretty much do it. Um, anywho, we're going to get started. I'm going to start a new game of Morrowind. I'm going to start my character from Skyrim, and he's going to live kind of a dual life. taken you from the Imperial City's prison, first by carriage and now by boat, to the east, to Morrowind. Fear not, for I am watchful. You have been chosen. Wake up. We're here. Why are you shaking? Are you okay? Wake up. There we go. There you go. You were dreaming. What's your name? All right, let's put in the name here. Domino. Well, not even last night's storm could wake you. I heard them say it's Morrowind. I'm sure they'll let us go. This here is Jub. Um, he was the Easter egg in Skyrim, uh, the DLC for Skyrim, Dawnguard. This is where you get off. Come with me. He was uh, the guy that apparently, the dark elf that was famous in the Soul Cairn for, uh, or famous in Morrowind for killing all of the cliff racers. Apparently, he made it his his business to kill all the cliff racers. And uh, I have a feeling we're gonna run into some cliff racers, so you guys can see how truly annoying they are. But yeah, this is the prison ship that you start out on. Up on deck and let's keep this as civil as possible. All right. Now you'll notice that a lot of stuff is voiced here. Um, not a whole lot of this game after this part is this voiced. Is where they want you. Head down to the dock and I'll show you to the census office. In fact, it's almost all reading. So I'll probably narrate for you in an ironic voice <laughs> for the parts that involve reading. All right. I want to make I want to make my dark elf kind of like from Skyrim because uh, he's going to be visiting Morrowind. I want to give him an epic beard here. There we go. I like that. And then, uh, let's give him like, let's give him some dark elf earrings. There we go. Great. I'm sure you'll fit right in. Follow me up to the office. Sure. Man, this graphics mod is just absolutely amazing. I. It's it's almost like a different game. Um, it, it, it's it's actually really good. It's actually playing at a pretty low frame rate right now. I may tweak some settings uh, for the next video, but it's very playable. It's playable. I'm not complaining. All right, so this is the census office. This is where you go to basically create your character. Ah, uh, yes, we've been expecting you. Uh, you'll have to be recorded before you're officially released. There are a few ways we can do this, and the choice is yours. All right. Now, this is back in the old days when you could create a custom class. And you picked skills and such. All right. I'm going to be... 
Maybe I'll make a necromancer. Or, nah, I'll make a, uh, I'll make a rogue. Or do I want to make a rogue? Uh, let me look at these classes. Hmm. You know what? I'll back out of here. I'm gonna make a custom class. I know what I'm gonna do. Bloodlord. We're gonna be a Skyrim Bloodlord. Combat specialization. Now, do I wanna go combat or magic or stealth? Probably magic. Uh, or maybe combat. Yeah, let's go stealth. Favorite attributes, definitely agility and intelligence. Those will be good. So I can use the magic and such. Um, and conjuration is really good. So it lets you summon, summon things. Heavy armor, no way. Let's go. Light armor. Medium armor. That would be like leather. This is back when they had different armor types. Uh, I'll go with the light armor. I'll be a lightly armored. Because I, I find I play better that way. And let's go with destruction. So I can do some, some offensive stuff. Now I want to be good at the long blades. But primarily short blades. I'll use daggers and stuff. And let's do... Marksman. Athletics, that's good. Hand to hand, and let's do speechcraft. Or do I want to do mercantile? Hmm. Yeah, we'll do that. I want to be a good I want to get good prices on stuff. Very good. The letter that preceded, you mentioned you were born under a certain sign. And what would that be? Now again, this is before Skyrim. Um, in Skyrim, they have the standing stones where you pick this stuff. Um, in this previous game and in Oblivion, you picked, uh, you know, whatever sign you wanted to be. You know, I think I like... I like the, I like the Atronach. Or the Atr... Yeah. Because you've got spell absorption. And you get tons of magic, but you don't regenerate magic. So it can be difficult to play this. Hmm. So I might have to have a lot of potions to to uh, regenerate my magic. Yeah, but I like the absorption. We'll go with that. Interesting. Now, before I stamp these papers, make sure this information is correct. Yeah, let's do it. Okay. Show your papers to the captain when you exit to get rid of these. Dig it. What is that guy doing? What are you? Wow, that book has an all glitched out name. <laughs> Continue through to the next building and talk to Celestarius. All right, let's go. Now, fun fact: you can steal the stuff around here. What is that noise? Here's something going on. Is that a candle? Yeah, it's a candle. The candles make kind of burning noises. That's weird. Okay, so you want to take all this stuff. Because you can sell it. Okay, uh, to do this, you right click, you need a lock pick. Now, oops, yeah, I don't know if there's one up here. Is that it? There we go. Okay, then you right click, equip your lock pick. Okay. 
Come on. My hand is clipping like crazy. There we go. Money. 31 gold. Not bad. Whoops. I keep hitting escape. God, stop that. All right. Okay. This stuff will sell. I'll take it. Now I'm gonna go to I'm gonna go to Solstheim almost as quickly as I can because um, I really like that area and I want to do that first before I get started with the main quest line. And the beauty of this game is really that you can you can spend as long as you want just doing whatever you really want and you aren't penalized for it. All right, what do we got in here? Buckets. Decorative plate. Uh, not impressed. Gold though. All right. Now always check this buck, this uh, barrel. Not bucket. It's a barrel. Check this barrel. You get this ring of healing. Not only. Can you heal yourself? There we go. Oh, I have to I have to activate my uh, my spell. Do I want to do fire bite, or maybe I want to do the healing? Okay, so by doing that, I've I've activated this as my activated magic. So when I press R, I'm going to use the ring and heal myself. See? Seems real complicated, but it's not. It's actually quite easy. Alright, let's go in here. Alright, this is the captain. First, let me take your identification papers. Celis Gravius. Welcome to Morrowind. Yes, you're Morrowind. You're released from prison. Basically, the story of Morrowind is that you're released from prison, much like Skyrim, and there's a conspiracy, and these are your duties. You have to meet with Ca Caius Quisades. <laughs> I assume that's how you say his name. Um, but he's your handler. You're in the Blades. This was before Skyrim, um, where the Blades were still a thing. These are the protectors of the Emperor. They're like secret agents, basically, and you are working for them. More or less. Alright, so let's go out here and see if we can cause her. Who are you, buddy? Are you the one that dropped off? I ought to see a boat ride at the time of day. I swear they took my ring! Oh! I swear one of the guards have it. Last week, let's shake down Fargoth ritual. So I can basically give this guy back his ring. Or not. Uh, sorry. No ring. No ring, buddy. Alright, so this is kind of uh, Morrowind in a nutshell. Very, very... Uh, uh, not as dynamic as Skyrim. You know, NPCs have these walking paths. But they don't actually, you know, have activities doing. They're just kind of pacing. And... Uh, it's much different than, than Skyrim, but it, it, at the time... What was that? Is that the Silt Strider? Yeah. Okay, so this is a Rills trade house. So I can, I can buy stuff here and stock up. <coughs> Excuse me. Alright... Now look, everything in the game Speak, is is stealable. You can steal anything. But if you do this, everybody in this building is going to go crazy. But they can't run outside and chase you. So if you could snatch this stuff off the table and run out here, they would, you know, they wouldn't be able to follow you, which what is one of the do you need? 
big limitations for uh, for Morrowind. But they fixed that in Oblivion and, and whatever. Alright. Potions. Let's buy some potions. Okay. Magic. Fortify agility. Now these are fortifying skill points. They aren't... Uh, There we go. They're not, uh, you know, they're temporary. Um, for example, if you wanted to... Well, I'll take those. For, you, for example, if you wanted to make your agility higher temporarily, um, it, would, it would affect, I guess, what you would... Uh, what you'd be able to do. Um, however, a lot of this game um, is numbers-based. It's, ro it's dice roll-based. So, okay, so here's here's the tavern. Uh, there are a couple quest givers up here we can talk to, but uh, I'm kind of interested in getting to Soul's time. So let's see if this guy knows where it is. Latest rumors. Okay, so he, now basically, unlike Skyrim that kind of holds your hand, this game tells you you know, you have to get your information by asking people for rumors. Now, he just told me that the, the guy upstairs has work for me. And uh, that would be the only way that I'd figure that out unless I talk to everybody. And so, it's not always abundantly clear who has work for you. Here's another example of poor pathing. <laughs> They're just running into each other. Yes. Alright, let's see if he has latest rumors. There we go. Soul time. Transportation to cool. So I'm gonna go to cool. At least, at least I think so. Man, this graphics mod, I gotta say, I mean it's one of the best ones I've I've I have never seen Morrowind look like this. I mean it's uh really, really good. I wish my frame rate were a little better, but recording kinda hurts my frame rate quite a bit. When I'm not recording, it's it's uh, it doubles my frame rate, so I get about 40, 35 to 40. But we make a special trip just for you. It's for running about 20, 20 without it. All right, I'm pretty sure I can get there from Nisus, Genisus, I think. And I'm gonna have to sell some of that stuff I stole out of the starter area, probably to uh, to get. To get to the other uh, the other area. Now, see, this is another this is another thing of Morrowind. Um, there is there is no uh, fast travel. You don't you don't fast travel in the way that you do in Skyrim and Oblivion. Um, you get places by going on these big bugs, um, and they they take you to different set points. They're basically like the carriages in Skyrim, and. Uh, You get everywhere by going to certain set points, and then you'd have you'd have to run. You have to walk or run or whatever. All right, so she will buy some stuff. Let's see how I sell something. I don't know. Let me see here. Yeah, there we go. Hold down shift to sell. See, I feel sorry for the uh, the quote the quote unquote good characters that don't don't steal anything because you're going to be at a pretty big disadvantage because as you can see just by selling the stuff that I stole off the table I've got an extra hundred gold basically to uh, to work with so right but she doesn't have all that so I probably just sold all that for nothing didn't I? Oh no, I got 103 gold. Alright, that should be enough to get to, uh... To get to Solstheim. time. Now, like I said, I'm not skipping the main quest. I'm gonna go pick that up, but I wanna do... I wanna do... Get at least settled in, in Solstheim time first. I think I see a monster down there. Maybe? I don't know. I'm not gonna... I'm not gonna go fight him. <laughs> not yet, at least. 
Alright, cool. Let's go to cool. Or cull. I guess it would be cull, wouldn't it? Why walk when you can run? Yeah, I know. That's what I say. Hey, buddy. Let's go to... Oh, I gotta talk to the boat guy. You don't take a silt strider to, uh, to there. Now, I think the boat guy is towards the coast. So, let me see here. Yeah, let's check down here. Man, I hear something howling. <laughs> now, see, here's an example of the really cool armor you can get in uh, Morrowind. This is that uh, Dunmer armor. Which is really freaking cool. Okay, I think this is the guy. I think. guys are fishing. <laughs> I've never seen that in Morrowind before. I've... Alright, I think the boat guy is down here. Yep, there he is. He's the Khajiit. Alright, Khajiit, let's go. Oh. Alright, we are on Solstheim, at least the island of Solstheim. Which is really cool. And there's a quest line involving the East Empire Company. And it's, it's really, really awesome. Alright, if I recall, these are a bunch of workers that are going to the East Empire Company. At least I think they are. But you can't do anything with them until you talk with the head guy at the East Empire Company. Now, bearing in mind, um, the events of Skyrim took place 200 years after this. So, in this place, or in this time, um, Solstheim was kind of being colonized. It was kind of being explored. You know, it wasn't really, uh, it wasn't really established. And I understand in, uh, you know, 200 years later, quite a few people live in it. Now, I remember this guy. Where is he? I want to say he's in here. In the cult shrine. I think so. Probably so. Alright. What do we got here? Anytime you're ready. Whoa, I like the lighting on that. Alright, let's go upstairs and we will talk to the head honcho. And we'll get our first mission, and I believe it's to go to the Raven Rock colony. Yeah, from this dude. East Empire Company, yes. Yes. We'll do it. Okay, so basically this guy is saying that uh, he needs help with the East Empire, Empire Company. And I just got hired on. So I got my first assignment. Now this is how you get assignments in, in Morrowind. There, there's no quest indicator or anything. It updates your journal. And you have to read your journal in order to understand what you're doing. So this right here is going to be my main quest line. So I know that I have to go to Balmora to pick that up. But I'm not going to... You know, I'm not going to uh, go do that quite yet. But uh, here's my last entry. Okay. Carnius um, is instructing me to, to escort those three guys out by the dock to the, uh, to the uh, Raven Rock colony. So we're going to go down there and we're going to do it. 
I'm gonna try not to make this episode super super long. And I'm gonna try not to die either. I'm level one. I'm not even. You know, I don't even know if I'm I'm scaled for this content. Whoa, he's glitching. Okay. I don't even know if I'm supposed to be doing Souls Time stuff at this level, but we're gonna we're gonna try. <laughs> Here's a third person view. You can hold down tab to view yourself. Like I said, the graphics and, uh, or the player models at least, for uh, Skyrim have come a long way. Let's just put it that way. And the animations as well. Alright, let's talk to these fools. Hey there, buddy. Ready to go. Alright then, we all voted and decided that you should take the lead. Uh, we're not fond of the woods, blah 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 blah. So these guys are now going to follow me. And I gotta just hope that none of them die. Now let's... Can I expand my map at all? I guess not. Uh, where am I now? Yeah, I'm over here. Let's look at the local. Oh, let's go back to world. Okay, I'm up there. I need to basically go this away to get to the Raven Rock colony. And unfortunately in Skyrim, the way followers work is you literally have to babysit them uh, because they will not spawn to your location. At least not from what I understand. All right, let's get my dagger out here. So I have a feeling we're going to run into at least one critter. On the way to Raven Rock. Or a witch. I hope we don't run into a witch. Because that would suck. Yeah, I see something moving in the trees over there, unless it's just a uh, swaying grass. Maybe something. Nope. Now you see that stutter, that means that I've entered a that means I've changed zones. Oh, ow. <laughs> now they're all punching him out. Now, if one of these miners dies, the whole quest line is broken. Oh man, I'm almost dead. Okay, let's take a potion. Thought I had one. Take one. Drink it. Plus, I've got the ring. Alright, so I got half my health back. <laughs> that doesn't make me feel better. Alright, I just gotta get to Raven Rock without dying. It's clear that I may be under leveled for this uh, you know for this DLC content, but we'll see. We'll see how far I can get. So I saw a jitter, so that means that there. See, there's something creeping around here, or what? Yeah, I see wolves over there. Let's see where I'm at now. Local. Alright, so I need to go almost immediately this away. Should be rolling up on the colony pretty soon. Oh god! We gotta. Okay, he's running. He's giving up. 
I didn't even see that wolf back there. He, he apparently gave up. Which is good. Because I didn't really want to fight him. Come on, guys. Come on, guys. Alright, the colony should be just up here. It's really cool because you get to play a part in building the colony. Now I'm in a uh, zone here, it's loading. So in a lot of ways the loading times can be pretty brutal in this game. Um, just the way that... Is, am I right on top of it? Probably. There really is no quest indicator, so you have to kind of do it by uh, till you see the guy that you're looking for. There he is. Ah. still have my people, right? Oh god. Where's the third one? Are you kidding me? Oh god, he got stuck. Oh man, come on. Come on, buddy. What are you doing? Come on, man. I see this is the kind of game where if you don't bring all three of them, you're going to break the quest. You're going to break the Come on, guys. Come on. God. Yeah, if you don't if you don't bring all three of them, it, he'll just you know it'll it'll break it. All right, so we dropped him off. A okay. Now let's talk to Falco. So Carnius talked you into joining this little adventure, did he? Carnius and did he? Very well. I'll be managing the site from here. And since you're here, I have an assignment for you. All right, sent you for more instructions. Um, I need to find some ebony ore is my next assignment. Um, I'm going to wrap up this episode and uh, in the next episode we're going to uh, we're going to do this quest. Um, but hopefully that's kind of a general idea of what to expect out of Morrowind. It's it's going to be a very unique gameplay. Um, it's it's very it's a lot more challenging than I would say uh, Skyrim is even though Skyrim is pretty hard, but it's it's a very challenging game. But either way, um, thank you guys for watching. Um, stay tuned for the next episode, and we're going to get further into building the Raven Rock Colony, and it's going to be freaking cool and everything and awesome. Uh, so thanks, and peace out, guys. Okay.